masked men use a crowbar to break into a popular local restaurant, DZ Akins. The thieves then walk out with a safe full of cash. New tonight, the owner of the restaurant spoke with Fox 5's Jamie Chambers, and he joins us live from the college area with what they're saying about this brazen burglary. Jamie. And Kathleen, the investigators say these guys knew exactly what they were doing when they were targeting DZ Akins coming in. Masks on, hoods on, gloves on. They were in and out in a matter of minutes. The three burglars worked quickly, backing their light colored Ford Escape under the sunshade, then using a crowbar to pull the doors open. My wife called crying when she finally saw the video because, as hard as it is to hear, to sort of see it, it's, it's a little disturbing and just knowing that people are out there causing trouble like that. You know, just in case you haven't been helped yet, right? No, I'm not. The owner of DZ Aiken's restaurant, Elon Aiken, says these thieves didn't seem like the desperate type as they found the safe in a matter of moments and were well prepared with a hydraulic lift to rip the safe from the counter. They seemed a little bit more professional, um, so maybe these weren't the poor COVID sufferers. Um, maybe these are just more the kind of people who take advantage when the rest of the world is suffering. In and out in under five minutes, these thieves did succeed for now, but might not have found what they were looking for because the pandemic has shifted transactions mainly to credit card use and the till was light. A couple thousand dollars maybe in cash um, and, and a big portion of that was really the tips that the servers and the customers leave for our, our staff. Elon says he's certainly going to cover those missing tips for his employees. And at the same time, business is doing well as people have been showing up to support the 41 year old beloved restaurant, bakery, and San Diego institution. It's nice to know that San Diego is here for us. Elon says that he is heartened and thankful that this all happened on a Thursday at four in the morning. No one was here and no one was hurt. If you have any information on any of these three men, you're urged to call the San Diego County Sheriff's Department. From the college area, Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. All right, Jamie, thank you so much.